London and in somewhere in the party, uh, Australia and that uh, is not there. The entire universe will disintegrate. That's how awesome that is. Because Jesus Christ says, heaven and earth will pass away, but my word shall not pass away. And that's why the Bible is so enduring today. Can't be destroyed by anyone. Kings and, 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 and emperors have tried many times to destroy the Bible. They can't. Because God has made sure that you should hear the gospel today. That God sent his son in the world, Jesus Christ, died on the cross, rose on the third day, and ascended to heaven and he's coming again. Can I ask you all a personal question? You don't have to answer. What did you do last night? <laughs> I don't blame you. I don't blame you. What you're saying is, I don't want to be honest about what I did last night. That's fine. That's fine. Now, out of the four of y'all, y'all four friends, is that right? Lovers? I don't doubt it. I really don't. Are you the leader? No? Which one of you are the leader? You mean good? Now, yeah. The question is, do you eat each other's pudding? No? You're not lovers, man. You know what, love? Hey, get back here. I'm not done with you yet. You started this. <laughs> now he's turning all shades of red. Now I can tell he's really not a homo. <laughs> what I'm going to be talking about this morning is the leaders of this world. Now, I don't know where, where you're from, what country you represent, what citizen you are of, of what nation you come from, but each one of us has a leader. Now what I find amusing is, is that most people that I talk to, in the nation they live, they do not agree with the leader of that nation. Let me take an example. Sir, where are you from? Where are that? Germany. Yeah, is Schroeder your leader? Yes? So what? Uh, wait a minute. Sometimes. When is Schroeder not your leader? When is he not your leader? You said sometimes he's your leader. For the next mix. <laughs> you mean you won't vote for him again? Why not? Too detailed? Why is it? Why is it that we elect someone to be our leader and then all of a sudden, after they become in the position of leading our country, all of a sudden they are rejected for one reason? Do not Who's he? God has no masculine or feminine. 
You're thinking God's yeah. a man, don't yeah. you? He's a woman. He's a woman. See? He's a man. Now he's coming around. It's only been about 20 minutes. This guy's coming around. He's searching for God. I tell you what, sir. Stick around a couple more hours and you could be I will find you. will be up here next. Let's get him over here. Come on. Come on. And your stupid son probably could come around. Too. I'm not going to let you take my father away. Of course you're not. You probably get anything you want, don't you? From your dad. Is your dad a pedophile? Be honest. What? You don't know what that is yet. Never mind. Uh, I won't push that. I guess not I don't know why you keep leaning on it. Now. That's good, I'm just joking. I think it's excellent. I got three sons. One of them in the U.S. Navy. Good for him. Yeah. I got good. five sons. You got five? Yeah. One was in the day. Is this your youngest one? My baby. Really? In the U.S. Navy where, sir? It was uh, a long time ago. Yeah, well, it's hard to remember back then. I was in the Navy for about 18 years. How old are you? 61. I'm no way. Yeah. 61? Yeah. America takes care of their people. You're 60. Hey, man. Yeah. You are America's is strong. You're 61. It's we still that stupid. We people. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. Yeah, this stupid. I get stupider as I get older. Now he's Wait, getting, you're getting more you, honest. You, as you're you if you live long enough, will be the stupidest person in the world. <laughs> You'd be my disciple. <laughs> Now, folks, I want to challenge you to go beyond the natural realm of believing in yourself. Believe in the Son of God that can set you free from your sins. Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, can give you a relationship with God. What kind of a God kills his own kid? And he rose from the dead. What kind of a God He rose from the dead. You killed him, and I killed him. He died for our sins. He gave himself the up sin. for the, just a minute, I'm it. almost done. He gave it. himself up for the sins of the world. And folks, if you don't want to receive Jesus Christ as your savior, you can go on in your way and be miserable, especially you, and be looking to yourself as to God. But God wants to give you a relationship with him through his son, Jesus Christ through believing in the death, the burial, the resurrection, having that peace and that joy and that love and that mercy and that long-suffering You've been talking about morning television. God bless you. You probably think Tammy Faye is Wait a minute, Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Friends, enemies, homosexuals, fair homes. How are you today? You're a Navy, huh? What are you? You told him you were in a Navy. No, his son. Oh, son. He was in the Army Reserves. Yeah, Army Reserves, like Boy Scouts. Yeah. I'm Got in the Army Scouts. Reserves because they didn't want to join the regular Army. Oh, you were in the Army? That's right. Why didn't you join the Corps? Of course we the Corps? Marine Corps! Man, are you kidding? No, I'm not My kidding. dad was a Marine. I was raised a Marine. And hey, why? Man, I am a challenge. I went in the Army. You know what the Marines do? In Germany, they guard the, the embassy. You know what I did? My job, 11 Hotel Papa Charlie, was a job that if a war began and they thought if it began, it began in Europe. We last one day till the 82nd Airborne got there. Now let me tell you something, friend. I am now in a new army. I am in the army of God. Hallelujah. We're not dropping these smart bombs on people. We're dropping the word of God on people. You guys use the same thing. I'm glad you can read. You know why I wear that on my pants? Because you, because you stupid Americans don't read the Bible. Thank God you're reading my pants. You're getting a little bit of the word of God. Now, what we want to talk about here today. Oh, my God. He's in Toronto. Ladies and gentlemen, the Toronto blessing just came upon you. 
Do that again. I've seen people do that in churches. In God we trust, all others pay cash. Do you trust in God? No. I trust in you. Do you well, if you trust in me, you're pathetic. <laughs> no, you're pathetic. Well, then what are you trusting me for? You're demented, I'm, aren't you? I'm demented. Let me yeah, tell you're you pathetic. something. Do you you're believe honest. in God? No. Why not? Why? Let's have a friendly conversation. Don't Do you be believe so in God? Why is it you don't believe in God? Do you believe in God? Are you an American? True. Am I an American? Yes. Yes. You're not an American. Americans believe in God. It's in the Bible. In God we trust. We also begin a, a, the, the, the Senate in prayer to God. That's the president swears on the Bible. We're You're not an American. You're a chief European imitation. When you believe in God, you must believe in Jesus Christ. Because there's only one God that is a God of love. Oh, one more, I think it's helpful. One more shot. Wait, 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 wait. Next off, I'm to America. Oh, go have a coach of God and get him in God's hammer. of your body is in darkness. That's why Jesus said, Jesus said he is the light of the world. That if any man walks in the light of God, the light of Jesus, he will not walk in darkness. Amen. Now, you, you dwell in spiritual death. Men and women, you dwell in spiritual death. I blame the women. That's why the light of God is not in your spirit. That's no, why you don't know Jesus Christ. Well, I don't Christ blame personally. the women for it, because when God made Adam... And you need to well, know Adam, Jesus well, Christ Adam personally was, uh, Adam is an Irish to have victory Adam over Adam. death. <laughs> to have victory <laughs> over the grave, you need, Adam. You need God's <laughs> divine authority <laughs> and divine power. Where is he then? Why didn't you come last week and say that? Where is he? You're too early. Next week he must come and say that. You're praising the Lord, are you? No, but he's not going to say that. So, how do we get into the life of God that Jesus is talking about? Do you want to receive authority and power from God so you can overcome your death? Do you? You know, God is not going to leave His creation dead. He's going to raise 
his creation from death. And it's where you're going to be when you're raised from the dead. You're either going to be with Jesus, going into a new heaven and a new earth, or you're going to be with the devils, going into the lake of fire, which is the second death. They're more interesting than ever. Did you know that? Why do you resist Jesus Christ? Oh, I don't know. Why do you reject the Lord Jesus Christ? I reject everything. Can you give me one reasonable answer why you reject Jesus Christ, because he was the Irish. Son of God? That's why I reject him. Has nobody got an answer? Because he was Irish. That's why I reject him. Do you know? You're talking nonsense. You don't exist. Either. You don't exist. And the answer. You're talking. I said a reasonable answer. That's a very unreasonable answer. Well, I said you'll know who Jesus is when you when you die. Everyone's going to know who Jesus Christ is because he is the King of Kings. He's the Lord of Lords. We must all come before the throne of Jesus Christ. Well, then that's the old Bailey. And to, to be judged and give an account of the things we've done in our body. Oh yeah. And to one another. And you know, if you're not born of the truth, yes. you're not going to enter into the kingdom no, of no, God. No, no chance. God does not exist. Praise God. You've got to be a Catholic. Men and women, you do not have a Christ, you have no the Son of God, Jesus Christ, <laughs> came into this world to give us eternal That's what Johnny life. Adams told me anyway. Why don't you have the gift of eternal life? Yes. Because you reject Jesus Christ I have got the gift as your the Lord Adams, yeah. and Savior. Well, he's Irish as well. Now you thought all the Irish were seen and could have seen him. Your religion ain't gonna save you. You could say that again. <laughs> There's only one person gonna save you from your sin, from the judgment of God, from death, see, from the devil, that and that is Jesus Christ, the sin. Son of God. Yeah, nobody God else can head. save you. Jesus sin. conquered but everything. How pathetic can you get? How pathetic can you become? Praise God. What are you going to do with Jesus Christ, the Son of God? What are you going to do with Jesus? You either accept him or you reject him. And that is the bottom line. Pardon? Am I what? Baiting. You're baiting me. You mean baiting me? You have. You, if you're, you either accept him or you reject him. According to his very word. Jesus, the Son of God, said these very words. He that rejects me, Jesus said, and receives not my words, has one that judges him the word that I have spoken. The same will judge him in the last day. That same word Jesus speaks to judge every one of us in the day of judgment. According to science, Jesus does not exist. You are either crucifying Jesus Christ, or you are accepting him as your Lord. We are not accepting him. You are either a friend of Jesus Christ, or you are his enemy. And if you're the enemy of Jesus Christ, you're the enemy of God, because God Almighty was in Jesus Christ, walking this earth, yeah. healing the sick, raising the dead, casting out devils, walking on water. It sounds like push. Hallelujah. The only push I'm interested in is, is setting fire to push. Did not God Almighty set fire to a push in the time of Moses? Hallelujah! And Moses was afraid when he saw the burning bush. And you too will be afraid when you die in your sin you will be afraid when you come before the devil's throne you will be scared you don't scare me you don't scare me listen here i'm not here to scare you you're already scared you're already scared you're already scared and you talk rubbish you didn't say one intelligent thing since you just stood here hallelujah i'm not here to scare people i'm here to speak the truth listen 
Okay? Zip. What does zip mean? Zip means that. Why? That's what it means. Because you're talking rubbish. I'm not here to scare people. The world lives in fear. This whole world lives in fear. Would you ever keep quiet? Would you? Can you do that for a few seconds? Or is that very difficult for you to do? The whole world is scared. Every human being in this world lives in fear. And if they don't fear man, they will fear the devil. Even the hardest criminal will be terrified of the devil. You are a devil. You are a devil. You are a devil. Praise God. Hallelujah. Why don't you have that cap of yours stitched to your head? <laughs> Hallelujah. Oh, like this. Praise God. Like this. Yep. Praise God. You have no manners. You're talking nonsense. No manners. I have plenty of manners. You cannot, you cannot, plenty of manners. You cannot convince people you have no manners. You have plenty of manners. You should have manners. Man. You are, you are nearly a complete idiot. Praise God. The whole world is in fear because of sin. Because your hearts are not right with God, you have fear in your heart. And I'm telling you the truth. There is a day of judgment, whether you believe it or not, when God will raise all mankind from death and judge all men, women and children. Everyone will be judged for the wickedness we commit in our bodies and in this earth, for all the murders, all the crimes, all the wars. God will judge the earth through His Son, Jesus Christ. Jesus, you will be scared. You'll be plenty scared. When you die without God's divine power in your body, you will be plenty scared. You'll have plenty to be afraid of. God dwells in unapproachable light. God's face is brighter than the sun, and His eyes are blazing fire. All His body is fire, and no natural man can approach the throne of God, unless you are born of God, unless you have the Son of God living in you, you can never approach God's throne. Did you know that? That's why Jesus said, Except you repent of your sin, you will die. You're dying and you're getting old because of your sin. I'm going dancing tonight. Because of the corrupt things you do. You are getting old and you are dying. And you are going to hell. And then you're go you're going to the spirits of the dead. You're going to the spirits of the damned. You're not going to heaven when you reject Jesus Christ, the Son of God, as your Lord and Master. You are not going to enter the kingdom of God. What are you going to do with the Word of God? What are you going to do with Jesus Christ, the Son of God? All right. What are you going to do with the Son of God, Jesus Christ? The Son of God must live in your